Now, News Center 23 weather with Chief Meteorologist Robert Bettis. Ah, now that's what we like to see. Unfortunately, before we settle back in to our very sunny pattern, we have to make it through the next 48 hours. We can do it, but we need to be ready, and I think the valley is ready. We've been talking about the surge of tropical moisture and thunder showers that could deliver even more heavy rainfall starting at about midday tomorrow and then tapering off hopefully midday on Saturday. Let's take a look at what's going on. Now we had, of course, that one isolated area just to the east of the Yucatan Peninsula, and we watched it as it drifts slowly across the Gulf over the last few days. Well, now it's sitting out there, not too far offshore from the valley. It bears a 50% chance of developing into a tropical cyclone in the next 48 hours, according to the National Hurricane Center. But usually, when you see a storm start to form, you'll see a more defined rotation around it. And right now, we have a bunch of little waves going off in all different directions. It's already producing strong thunder showers up around Houston right now. That main surge of moisture pushes in to Mexico and the valley tomorrow again starting at about 11 o'clock in the morning and then we'll be hit with periodic waves, waves of thunder showers. Now if we had been dry all week and we were going to get these storms I would say okay get ready for the heavy rainfall. But the problem is we're inundated with water. Many neighborhoods such as in Harlingen out in West Lacoma City flooded still, so we don't need any more rainfall. That's why everybody needs to be careful for tomorrow. Now on the radar composite right now, pretty quiet. We've had some thunder showers at about two this afternoon, a nice line right along 77 that delivered some heavy rain, but thankfully today, not as much as yesterday. Here are the rain totals. 0.43 Brownsville, 0.06 Harlingen after yesterday's six and a quarter inches, 0.03 in McAllen and 0.03 in Edinburgh. 92 is our high temperature today, and even though it's quiet tonight, we're still under a flash flood watch, meaning thunder showers could crop up in the night and deliver heavy rainfall. Normal is 91, 100 the record, 1900, and 79 the low temperature from this morning. Only made it to 89 degrees in Harlingen today. Normal 92, 100 the record, 2011. 96 the high temperature in McAllen today. We knew we'd get some midday sun, get things cooking into the mid 90s. Well, tomorrow it's going to be pretty cloudy and rainy. Therefore, I'm only going a high about 89 degrees throughout the RGV. 92 is the high temperature in Edinburgh today and 91 Port Isabel. Winds are flowing in from the northeast at calm to five miles per hour. The calm before the storms. Yes, those pictures were beautiful. Let's get you a tropical update on the other side of the country. Of course, all the nation's eyes on Hurricane Florence, as they should be. When is it going to make landfall? The eye of the hurricane is a mere 30 to 40 miles offshore at this time. So we're looking at a landfall marker somewhere probably within the next 90 minutes as it skirts along the North Carolina coastline. It will make its way down the coast, continuously staying strong and recharging that moisture as it plows into the heart of South Carolina. South Carolina stands to give even more rainfall than North Carolina. Then it takes a turn, delivering heavy rainfall up into parts of Virginia, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and New York. But the hardest hit areas will be North Carolina, South Carolina, and the northern portion of Georgia. Right now it's 81 Edinburgh, 84 McAllen, 82 in Brownsville. Let's plan the day at 8 o'clock 80 by lunchtime 86 and by 585 widely scattered and periodic thunder showers could be pretty darn strong starting at 11 o'clock in the morning. You stay with News Center 23. We're going to cover this from beginning to end. We will be here on social media and right here. 76, our low temperature, lower valley, 77 in the upper. Out on the island, we can expect 86 thunder showers, heavy rains, you could get gusts to about 30 miles per hour, but Island, I just don't see you having to face serious gusty winds. 89, the high temperature through the RGV. Southeast winds 10 to 25, and of course, the heavy rain threat continues. Heavy rain extends into Saturday. Now, I'm hopeful that by about midday, we're looking at these waves to let off, but we have to prepare for a rainy morning and more rain adding to the problems from Friday night. Then, according to the latest data, we start to clear and get hot. 97 and 101 on Sunday, 96, 100 Monday, 96 and 100 partly cloudy skies on Tuesday. Triple digits never looked so good.